than 6 million tourists coming to the city. Second after Bali is Tibet. Because of the toll road Jakarta Bandung in 2005, the floods of people coming are very frequent and most of them bring uh, cars, private cars. So it creates one hand this opportunity. Our number of hotels tripled from 100 to more than 300 hotels to accommodate the influx of tourists. But in the other hand, we have an issue of infrastructures. They are not really designed to, uh, to, to receive uh, the 6 million kind of uh, tourists. Yeah. That's why I feel long weekend, the whole staff in government of Bandung in the alert mode. <laughs> Because traffic, uh, everything related to, to circulation is, is really what I can say uh, double the size of the city. <coughs> so the challenge is how, how to, to balance the opportunity as well as uh, also the problems. That's why uh, our vision in the next five years is ambassador. We want to create a very strong and sustainable public transportation. We want to reduce the dependency uh, using cars in front of public transport. That's why uh, in the last six months, we are preparing the bid for monorail projects. Two lines, each line uh, around uh, 10 to 12 kilometers will be on the public meeting uh, next month. Yeah. We are very welcome to any investor who would like to uh, engage, maybe from French uh, company. We have uh, uh, prepared also uh, incentive. Incentive means there are lots of properties that you can develop to subsidize the cost for public transportation because government owns many lands in the city and inherited by the colonial and uh, can be used also to be part of this strategy. We are also preparing the bidding for cable car uh, projects because Bandung is hilly like Rio de Janeiro. Uh, so the hilly side we more or less try to use the cable car the flatter side we will use more or less the, the monorail and connecting to the region we will use the train yeah. uh, the one that uh, the government of Indonesia and the government of France already has some agreement and we are very excited to start the project as soon as possible uh, because it will really change the, the landscape of how people travel in the city we are also preparing the uh, bike sharing concept, similar like in Paris, the can ride bike. Because biking in Bandung is very convenient in terms of weather. People love the Bandung since day one, it's because of the weather. It's the wrong, wrong temperature weather. So our fresco dining in Bandung is the best. Yeah. So biking is nice. It's so similar like Paris also. There's a hill and up and down there. Yeah. I try one uh, in Paris, it's very convenient. And we try to use uh, the same. But now, people move in the city more or less less options. Only small minibus, unreliable minibus. So next three years, next five years, we want really to change infrastructure for the transport. You can achieve destination, reach the destination uh, walking on the elevated structures. So combination of these is the one that I've prepared. A second one, beside the public transportation, we are ready to be upgraded as the first comprehensive smart city uh, of Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, we are upgrading everything 
from the parking system, from uh, the way we, uh, we manage the city. If you don't mind, uh, I would like in five minutes explain some of our visions, yeah? uh, because smart city, we have two opportunities. One, upgrading the system in the old city, which we are today, and also we are creating in the process of creating new cities in the east of Bandung. It's 800 hectares empty land. It's uh, 800 hectares empty land in the east of Bandung. We are we are visioning the city to be more or less the Silicon Valley of Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, if there is no obstructions, we start the groundbreaking the, the first month next year, 2015. We open the toll road, so if you come from Jakarta. You can just exit the toll road directly to the new city. We are preparing the big uh, stations, uh, train stations. It's also a big project. Uh, we already talked with uh, Bayona, the head of the train company, to open the, the interchange train stations in the new city. So people from Jakarta can stop in the old city, but at the end, they can stop in the new city or using the car in the new exit toll road and connect it to airport, international airport. So we are inviting also French company either be part of the developing the new city with smart city technology from transportation, IT, anything related to that. Or also if you want to open uh, any businesses, in Indonesia that related to ICT, the city would be perfect because more or less uh, the city is designed from scratch to be ready for for uh, more or less world class city. Uh, yeah. So. Again, I'm, I'm talking about one city, the old one, uh, with lots of opportunities also because of the touristic destination. The second one is the new city uh, developed for new opportunities that still <coughs> blank page, uh, open for any invention suggestions uh, related to, to the, that one cultural diplomacy to us yeah. and we want to want to have a strong presence more so last uh, last February I went to France uh, to several destinations one is to the Parliament of Paris uh, government building met with the lady in uh, one of the parliament members. Then I went to the cultural center of Paris. I forgot the name. It's located outskirt. San San That one. Yeah. Are you pronounce it? Songkat. So, so I went to Songkat and meet with the director, and we want to invite the Parisian artists in September because the Bandung anniversary will be in September. <coughs> uh, in the old days, also Bandung known as Paris Van Java, something we would love to uh, fulfill the, the dreams of the past to be relevant again today. Uh, because some technicalities, uh, Mr. Ambassador, the video can be only seen from, maybe we can turn around. So this is uh, the new 
city called Bandung Technopolis. Yeah. Uh, we will design this as the first city in Indonesia to have all world-class infrastructures. <coughs> Different from other typical new city, this new city is envisioned by government, not by the third party. Usually before third party offer a proposal, uh, we have a different opinion, so we, we vision this as a new city, and by the law of Indonesia, we will try to apply for a, a concept called a special economic zone. If this new city, the Bandung Technopolis, receive the special economic zone status, it means all the permits, all the regulation will be independent, totally independent from the typical. So it will be faster, it will be anything you imagine of your standard will be applied here. But if you don't have the special economic zone status, uh, the permit will be maybe take some time because of the, uh, the habits and the uh, regularity. Uh, this is a combination of opportunity for IT businesses for destinations uh, create a series of lakes yeah, to solve the flood problem but also become a center of destinations. Uh, if you have uh, also company related to, to laser uh, business, also uh, this new city can be the, the right place. When we say Bandung Technopolis, also we are not saying it's a series of labs. We are trying to create a real city where you can walk, you can shop, you can have coffee. But the people who work in the city is ICT business, more or less. Because uh, we want, uh, we have similar project in Jakarta called uh, Puspitek Serpong. Yeah. That's different, there's a series of labs, and too, too sterile. This one is really a new city. Also in front of you, uh, there are several heads of uh, industrial uh, strategy in Bandung. Yeah? We have aeroplane, aircraft industry. We have military <coughs> industry in Bandung. We have electronics industry also in Bandung. We have telecom company in the headquarters also in Bandung. So Bandung is combination as uh, strategic industries, young people, uh, educated, uh, sophisticated. So I'm bringing all these into new vision to create the new Bandung. Honorable ladies and gentlemen, now let's hear a speech from the ambassador of France to Indonesia, Mrs. Corinne, and it is yours. Thank you, Excellency, for your uh, presentation. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for welcoming us uh, here. I know you have a very busy schedule. As you said, you have been elected only six months ago. So we know how it is when you start. I started my job one, one year ago, here, okay. 14 months ago, and it's my first official trip to, to Bandung. And uh, as you can see, I came with representative of some departments and uh, of the embassy. And, um, representative of French companies that I will introduce you uh, later on. <coughs> what is very important and what I wanted to tell you is that for us, Bandung is a priority in our uh, policy in, uh, in Indonesia. We know <coughs> all what you have said about the growth and the potential of the city and of the region of uh, West Java. And uh, we are very aware that we have many opportunities here. As you mentioned previously, uh, the French Treasury and the French, French adjustment, uh, Agency for Development IFD, has started to support the uh, Bandung project by uh, supporting Bandung Urban uh, Railway Corridor project and financing the first uh, 42 kilometers uh, and one bridge. Uh, we know that the pre-qualification for selecting the consultant for the construction of the railway viaduct that has been launched uh, a month ago. And we hope that uh, this project will go, uh, will go on because since last year when it has been signed, the agreement has been signed on 
the occasion of the visit of the Minister of uh, Foreign Trade, we see very slow motion of this project, and uh, we like to, to yes, to see the project going faster and uh, and uh, going further. Uh, you mentioned many projects. Uh, your ambition is uh, big for your city in the five uh, years uh, time. And uh, representative of, of the French companies here will present themselves, but I will introduce them and I can tell you that we are interested in all sectors that you've mentioned. Uh, you've mentioned uh, transportation, public transportation, cable car, monorail, railway. Uh, you mentioned the green uh, city and smart city. So we have people in charge of connectivity, of telecom. Uh, and uh, sustainable development. So, if we, if you allow me, I would like to uh, to present you uh, all uh, representative of the French companies, and maybe if you allow us, they would present in which sector they are working, and uh, and 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 confirm what I said means that we are very interested in, in supporting Bandouin's development. And the French government is very keen to to support the French companies which are interested in helping abandoning its development. Uh, if I may start with the Pilar and Co, represented by Jean-Paul Laurent. Raise your hand. AREP, Colas Rai and Alma Development by Michel Entreg. Vinci, Philippe Olomé. Aegis, uh, represented by Jean-Emmanuel Seychard. Sofrecom, Orange, by Thierry Dubois. Tosia Management, by Christophe oh, Glass. Oh, that's why I see some work. Harry, Spop, many brands. Thank you, I design uh, <laughs> Ah, that's why you know that. Turbomeca, represented by Rodolphe Bohr. Astor, represented by Maurice Dress and Rudy Giornardi. Airbus, by Laurent Baudin. Even if we don't fly from uh, Jakarta, we can by train, but uh, Airbus can be useful anyway. And the Voslo, represented by Franck Le Poivre. I hope I didn't forget anybody. I mentioned everybody. So, if you love us, uh, Maybe we can uh, invite uh, the companies and representatives to uh, the business they are doing. And if you, please, if you can focus on, on what you could do in Bandu, not your activity in Indonesia in general, but uh, particularly speaking about what you could do in Bandu, supporting the effort of the buyer after the presentation he has done and the objective of. Uh, of, uh, of of being in line with this vision. Thank you. Uh, four star, yellow, three star, and pop hotels uh, on the budget segment. Uh, we already have uh, some properties here in Bandung, in, uh, in the Harris uh, uh, Festival City Link and the Pop uh, Festival City Link in the south of Bandung. And we are developing other <coughs> properties, including one in uh, Chumbilit, in the north of Bandung, for Harris, and the preference in, uh, in Dago. Uh, hotel business is uh, effectively very active in, in Bandung. Uh, on our side, what we would like to see, um, we are very concerned by uh, uh, our footprint on the environment because hotels are uh, effectively uh, uh, waiting on the environment. Uh, we would like to, to see any opportunity to, uh, uh, from the government uh, or the local authorities to uh, uh, to support or to impose, I would say, because I think there's no other ways to do, uh, uh, more green practices from, uh, from developers. Ourselves, we are not the developers, so it's not always easy to, uh, to be imposing some uh, uh, more responsible uh, approaches or, or more green uh, uh, techniques, because they all cost money at the end of the day. So I believe it would be interesting to have, uh, uh, to have uh, Strong commitment from the from the authorities to, to draw some uh, some regulation or, or have a way to to, to impose uh, uh, things on, on developers. 
also we are very pleased uh, because for the, the, the brand Harris we are trying to, the, to emphasize on the healthy lifestyle uh, which we have to support by uh, uh, improving quality of food, uh, uh, managing NSG, uh, reducing uh, uh, sugar and salt for the, the benefit of uh, public health and also as a, as a way to, to bring some awareness in the, uh, in the public. Uh, we are very pleased to know that uh, Bandung uh, now has a uh, further prevent people from smoking uh, inside uh, public buildings, including hotels. Uh, it's a good thing, it's a start, but I think a lot more has to be done in this uh, direction and we would welcome any, uh, any support in this direction. We are ourselves relying on the, on the different builders across the country to, uh, to be able to develop uh, smoke-free areas in our hotels and try as much as we can to, to, uh, uh, to ban smoking, which is very difficult, obviously, in Indonesia. But uh, the more the, the local government will, uh, will issue PERDAS and more importantly will uh, implement uh, uh, those regulations, uh, uh, the more benefit, beneficial it will be for us and uh, it will help us to, to, to I mean, we, we will be the first one to, uh, uh, to actually uh, play our role in, uh, in, this, uh, in this field. Thank you, Barry. Uh, Send my regards to Mark. I will definitely. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, very pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm Thierry Bouin. I'm the representative of the company called Sofrecom in Indonesia. So Sofrecom knows quite well Bandung because we've been working with Telecom for more than 10 years again. And we are the subsidiary of the Orange Group. Uh, I, know, I, I know you know the Orange Group. We were in Paris quite a uh, very, very uh, Orange Group is, the, is an operator in Europe. Middle East. And today I'm very interested in your speech about smart city because the Orange Group uh, um, conducts a lot of initiatives and projects on smart city. Of course, in connectivity, master plan of telecom for optical fibers or wireless or Wi Fi, but also on new technology like machine to machine or NFC. And we have a lot of initiatives in <coughs> countries. Um, I hope you will have an opportunity to visit them, perhaps Bordeaux and Strasbourg, about using NFC to uh, pay tickets to use the transport, public transport, that's one of your main strategic area of development. And many initiatives uh, would be more than delighted to go deeper on this initiative with your teams uh, if we have the opportunity to go a little bit further on these topics. Good afternoon, I'm Laurent Godin, I'm the head of uh, Airbus Group in, uh, in Indonesia. Uh, Airbus Group, through its uh, subsidiary, have been uh, present for a long time in Bandung, uh, mainly through the uh, cooperation with uh, PT Dirgantara Indonesia, where we have uh, cooperation in uh, military transport aircraft, in, uh, in helicopters, uh, for quite some time. Um, we also have another uh, cooperation smaller with uh, PTP DAD, and there is uh, something that is uh, not as well known. We have plenty of parts of uh, Airbus, uh, which are products in, uh, in a joint venture between uh, PTP DAD and uh, Goodrich. Uh, and this is one of our concerns because uh, those parts are used in the A320 aircraft. We need to increase the production of those aircraft. So we need to uh, check on all suppliers everywhere that they are able to uh, increase the production. And we know that their factory is at the limit of the capacity and uh, they need absolutely to expand the factory. Uh, so we know they have been discussing with your services to find a, a bigger location to, uh, to build a bigger factory in Bandung. Today this is uh, roughly 5,000 jobs. Uh, 500 job, and and uh, we expect this to be uh, somewhere in the order of 2,000 jobs in the in the coming years. Uh, I I know how big the land you need. Uh, the land is not that big. It's uh, uh, it's less than an hectare. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's quite high, high tech uh, arts. I mean, even though it's a uh, it's a uh, metal uh, uh, milling, it's quite. Uh, I think it's fully green. The the, uh, the process for aeronautics is uh, is well managed and uh, not uh, damaging the, uh, the environment. And it's uh, re 
requiring ex extremely skillful people. So, so the concern is um, today they are located in, the, in that uh, uh, environment, and we are scared to lose the, uh, the talent if the, uh, the new location is uh, too far away from, uh, from that part uh, of the city. So, so I know there was a, there was a land that has been uh, found, but uh, in uh, Archamani Gulf or something like that, which might not be suitable for uh, for industry. Uh, but I think I think we are quite interested to, to see uh, uh, where to put it, and uh, it needs to be accessible for the people so that we we don't lose too many uh, people. But no, the no police will be okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Good to hear.
consulting uh, firm with a strong focus in urban development and public infrastructures. So in urban development, but we are very impressed by your uh, project of uh, Bangalung uh, Technopolis. Uh, we have a long experience in Indonesia. Next month, we will start to, to work for another special economic zone in Indonesia that for sure you know, the zone of uh, Mandalika in South Lombok. Okay. Uh, last year, we have performed a pre-feasibility study to enhance cultural heritage uh, and uh, preserve the river bank of uh, Muso River in uh, Palembang and of Talo River in Makassar. And uh, your project is very impressive, and our, our job is to make uh, such dream uh, become a reality. I'm sure as an architect you know that the uh, evil is in the details, and our specialty is to look into the details and convert uh, these uh, evils into uh, measures. So I would be very uh, pleased to meet your team in charge of this project to see how far you are advanced and if what other consulting services you may need uh, to implement uh, Special economies. Uh, for public transportation, uh, we have uh, been participating in the feasibility study of the project uh, financed by the South Road of France, and uh, we will uh, participate in the ten ongoing tender for the selection of the consultant. And uh, last month, we had the pleasure to uh, welcome in uh, Paris one of uh, your team uh, from Coda Dinas Permugan uh, by Ricky Gustiadi. Uh, who came to Paris and we had the opportunity to um, make a visit of a project uh, of tramway that Tegis, uh, for which Tegis is the general uh, consultant and uh, also I would be interested to meet with your team in charge of the two line uh, projects that you mentioned that will be launched uh, uh, soon to see what could be uh, the benefit of the service you will need in terms of consulting and technical uh, assistance. Thank you very much.
water which is sent from one side of the pipe is not arriving at the other one. Um, basically, that's it. Um, <coughs> construction company uh, very eager to, 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 to work uh, after a long past in Indonesia, uh, uh, going back to the construction of uh, Jakarta Airport. Uh, thank you. I am Jean-Paul Laurent um, from PILA, the exclusive agent of POMA uh, in Indonesia. Uh, POMA couldn't join me today because I have a very big um, a world agent meeting in Grenoble. I should be there in fact, but of course I prefer to be with you today. Uh, POMA is, as you know, one of the leaders in the world for cable car and certainly the leader for urban transportation by cable car. Already successfully uh, used in Medellin, in Rio de Janeiro, in Taipei, but you know I think all of that. The main advantage of such transportation are it doesn't take much place as installed in the air of pylon, on pylons and of course no subject to traffic. It does, not it does not reduce the passage of cars in the streets as are doing buses and tramways with special lane and consequently it doesn't worsen the traffic. It can reach high capacity until 3,000 passengers per hour with full flexibility and safety and it takes only one and a half year to be in operation. Our project with the city of Bandung started a few years ago but it is now with you the new mayor, that this project looks more attractive and more serious. We studied under the, your accommodation a new route starting from the central station and going into Leden in the north of the town without passing over any house as there is no regulation existing in Indonesia for the overflight. The feasibility study with the full condition will be remitted to you soon and by our partners mainly by Mr. Lincewe and the PPP will be implemented and registered soon. I do hope that the French authority will support us in case of your interest. The line has 8 kilometers, 7 to 8 stations in connection with the train at the central station and with the forecast monorail. Thank you. Here, uh, I'm Frank Lepel from Oslo. Oslo is uh, a group uh, dedicated only for railway business. Uh, we have two main activities. One is the running stock activities, and the second one is the infrastructure activities for all the track components. Uh, so we have uh, been involved in your uh, railway uh, network since more than 25 years. We made roughly 20, 25 projects here in uh, Indonesia. Uh, we are dealing especially with uh, tunnels, which is the switches for your track. Um, we are pleased right now to execute many projects uh, with uh, DGR and uh, with uh, PTCOM. Uh, we try also through this project uh, uh, with the French technology to improve the local contents as, uh, as much as we can. So we start to establish some uh, uh, local cooperation with a company called Wikabeton for our complete VR uh, technology. We also uh, be very interesting to, to see with some foundry in the PT uh, uh, in Dan. Uh, we know that they have a very good foundry in this uh, in Bandung. So this would be, I would say, uh, also an occasion for us to work on this uh, Bandung project right away, financed by the French government, to also to increase the capacity and the skill of local company of uh, Thank you so much. Oh, you were just used to my. Selamat sore, Ba. Sore. My name is Michel Autre. Uh, I represent several companies in uh, transportations, railway transportations and urban transportations. I will mention only two of them. One is uh, Colas Rail, uh, which is of course uh, very eager to uh, develop. Uh, uh, complete turnkey infrastructure of railway. 
and of course we are very much uh, interested by the project of the railway uh, Bandung uh, Padala Rongchitali. And of course we are also interested in urban transportation and I can also uh, uh, say the same words as my colleague said uh, regarding the tramway which is uh, absolutely an exciting uh, uh, development which we have seen uh, many development in, uh, in many, uh, many cities in, in France but also outside and tramway is uh, becoming a new a new way of transportation which is uh, quite interesting and of course uh, any time we will uh, come to uh, France again uh, there are plenty of realizations of tramway we can see and it's very exciting so, the second company I, I want to mention is AREP AREP is uh, uh, the, one of the largest uh, architecture company uh, in France uh, specialized in um, urban development in, um, in um, uh, how do you say, transit-oriented uh, development, as well as uh, multimodal uh, railway stations. And um, this is uh, what we have uh, worked, especially on the project, as you probably have heard, the Grand Paris, where we integrate the development of the city with the infrastructure of transportation, which is the, the, the definitely the, uh, the only solutions of that. Uh, we had the pleasure to, to meet already in uh, August uh, 2011 uh, in the Bandung Creative, uh, where we had a sort of a, a joint seminar on the river, excuse me, uh, Chika, uh, Chika Pundung, with Mr. Nicolas Bouchou from Arep, and uh, now we, uh, of course, we are very much excited by what you have presented. I will not talk too long. What I'm intending to do is to give you a book, uh, which we call it uh, Stations to the City, which show that the, the, the principle of the development of the uh, city related to the transportations, as we have done in several uh, countries around the world, particularly in uh, China, uh, particularly in uh, Korea, particularly in India, and, and others, uh, other countries. Uh, I hope that uh, in the coming few uh, weeks, uh, our architect, uh, which is uh, our international um, uh, manager, we come to Bandung and we will request an appointment to present you what we have done in a several uh, country regarding the tra transit-oriented development. Of course, we have been already involved in a few projects in uh, Indonesia. Bandung, of course, is a case. Uh, we know about the different cases. Uh, we, uh, we have, of course, in Surabaya and other places. And we work also in very good relations with PT Kreta because uh, this is uh, uh, a very uh, important way to develop such a project. So I will present you this book later on. Thank you. Uh, I represent the company Turbomeca, which is uh, part of the Safran Group. Turbomeca is uh, specialized in helicopter turbines. And the Safran Group is an uh, international uh, high technology group dealing with three main businesses, aerospace, defense, and security. We work uh, very closely with Airbus on our aerospace branch. Um, in terms of security in Indonesia, uh, every one of you today, maybe you don't know it, but you use a Safran product. The IKTP that you might have is uh, our uh, security technology from the North company. <coughs> For the expat, it's the kitas that you have. This is uh, from our uh, technology. In terms of uh, aerospace, in Bandung, we work for more than uh, 20 years with uh, PTDI and with its subsidiary NTP, Nusantara Turbine Dan Propulsi. And we have a big plan to increase the technical capability of NTP by creating a service center to repair the helicopter engines in Indonesia, <coughs> on our name, and to supply the Indonesian market in helicopter parts. So this is our uh, main project today, and I think 
tomorrow we will uh, visit this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very impressive range of uh, businesses. Uh, I'm very happy that we have a meeting today because I have lots of things to offer also. <laughs> First of all, I think uh, before I want to explore more about the business opportunities, maybe uh, Mrs. Ambassador, the next step would be if we are having a signing memorandum of understanding uh, and we creating a, a joint a task force or council between city of Bandung and French businesses uh, so we can have a regular meetings maybe I don't know once a month or once every two months to update uh, what is uh, the progress of each business interest and opportunities uh, maybe I can step in to solve issue uh, if my staff or my assistant can solve or something like that because we really want to make business. Yeah. So I think that will be my uh, formal suggestions uh, uh, to the French uh, embassy uh, because <coughs> of so many things we can uh, start. Uh, for example, uh, Uh, this year to to buy the land 
for the project. Uh, so we're moving very fast. And I think the central government of Indonesia already put this in the more or less either this year blue book, yeah, investment book, or next year investment book. So this is one of the big projects also coming. Second also, the provincial of West Java is preparing the new international airports, more or less two hours from, from our locations. Yeah, we call it Majalengka International Airport, to serve the whole West Java. Also, there can be another opportunity if you want to explore that. Unfortunately, it will be on my jurisdiction, so I'm just saying, yeah, but more or less to serve the whole region. Uh, cable car also. Uh, the cable car will be going for public bid more or less three months from now. So if now is April, yeah. so May, June, July. So end of July, uh, our study for cable car route will be approved by us. Then we will be going for public. Uh, you can bring your technology or also investment from French company or local companies. It's really up to, uh, to we really uh, build this monorail and cable car in the same time. So we hope in the next three years, <coughs> Bandung will be changed because now 80% of Bandung moving using private cars and motorbikes, yeah? something very unsustainable. So uh, we really hope this public transportation project is really take off. Of course, we the first projects of uh, electrification. Uh, we are also preparing to uh, creating a smart parking system yeah, because it's a touristic city. Everybody coming uh, by cars and so on and so on. Uh, there's also one thing, one project we uh in this book. Lots of public bidding will be open for public three months from now. Uh, the automatic parking, smart parking system, the monorail, the cable car, and so on. So, so uh, also, we are opening to the master plan. Uh, this is parking system. It's just a, a prototype we tested. So if some French company has the same similar technology, we would love also to, to end with you. Uh, we only install four units just to test and people love it and the, the flow of uh, retributions also is good using this. What about the technologies, the master plan? Nice. So the toll road connecting the south to the to the north will be more or less uh, start the construction uh, end of the year. So next year, uh, a series of buildings and projects will be started. So I'm offering, if you're looking for one hectare of land that related to high-tech kind of environment, world-class uh, infrastructure, this final technopolis will be the perfect place because as I said, we want to create a live, walk and play kind of concept. It's not like industrial park, it's really where people also uh, live and, and walk and play also in the area. We are preparing also... Uh, yeah, the We are preparing also to start the big infrastructure of 30 hectares of lakes uh, for solving floods problem, but also used as a, as a destination for Asia. Maybe if there is some French water company a bit strong in engineering of water, uh, this one also real. Uh, this year we are allocated the budget to start uh, buying the land uh, to start as soon as possible for this month. 
and the provincial government already allocated the budget also to create a floating grand mosque of West Java on floating on the back mountains. Yeah. So, uh, no technopolis is really moved in the very fast speed uh, in the process. So many opportunities on the And again, uh, as you said, you work for special economic zone in South of Lombok. Yeah? Uh, that must be in the cluster of tourism. Yes. Yeah. Bandung Technopolis is special economic zone in the cluster of technology. So one cluster, one location. So we, we take that uh, option uh, to the center government. And if there is no problem, maybe in two months, we will receive the certificate. The whole project will be special economic zone. Imagine if you have a special economic zone, so everything will be run by a private company who is a professional master. And of course, for touristic, I think the Harris Company, I designed some Harris hotels, including in Bali. Uh, when is it finished? The uh, seminar? Uh, uh, by July. July. I uh, Six million tourists uh, crowded every weekend, destination shopping, culinary number one in Indonesia is Bandung, 14 by, by the whole population, that, uh, culinary destinations in Bandung. Come uh, video we have a different, uh, different approach in how to build Bandung. We have a project called Index of Happiness Project. So we believe the modern city has to be balanced with happiness. So we create a happiness project. Uh, one project is uh, we have 30 municipalities in Bandung and I order one municipality to create a culinary festival every weekend. So if you come to Bandung end of the year, Saturday night, you can choose one out of 30 <coughs> culinary festivals. This is one example, one of the culinary festivals uh, in Braga. So we are creating 29 more of these. Uh, and to honor French government, we want to invite maybe one night is a French culinary night in Braga. To to strengthen our relationship. This is my translation of nice weather, good food, smile, and everybody. So what I'm saying is, uh, in terms of touristic businesses, the hospitality hotel, uh, many opportunities. So the mayor himself has to mingle, <laughs> not too formal.
uh, added value industries, yeah? uh, telecom, creative, high tech, agro. Uh, currently, the city center is in the red zone. Yeah? We are to try to move the energy of the city to the blue zone, which is the urban <coughs> technology. It's in the east. If you see the dotted line, that's the railway station, railway tracks connecting to to Jakarta. So, so my point is, as a society, Bandung is ready to to upgrade it to this level. You just need the one push uh, to make it happen. The location is known as uh, uh, Diribagi, the name is Diribagi. We have the soccer stadium also in Diribagi. Ada petang dan petang itu. I have to say, uh, this is Ambassador. Uh, I have been visited by many governments uh, that are also interested in Bandung Technopolis. Uh, Japanese company, American ambassador also came here. So uh, the faster to respond, we will get the faster opportunities. So I want just to uh, inspire that we, we are moving very quick. So that's why one of the suggestions let's create more or less. Uh, uh, memorandum of understanding and regular business meetings uh, that we can really start from here. Uh, I think uh, that more or less my my response to the whole presentation. Questions? You are very eager to have the special economic uh, zone uh, permit, and you said it will become uh, not professional. What does it mean? You will create a private company to manage uh, the hectare or hectare? Uh, yes, because the land now owned by three developers, three private developers. In Indonesian uh, government regulations, in order to get a special economic zone, you have two options. One option is applied by the government if the government owns land. Second is applied by the private sector if private sector owns land. In this case, because the private sector owns land, so the one who applied for the certificate is the consortium of the three private companies, but assisted by us. When, once you get the certificate, you create an administra administrator of the special economy. So this administration is basically the small mayor of this creating own regulation, own system. So it means we can really set up a new system of doing business and making a trading business to business. Business to business. <coughs> And, and the three, the three, they are Yeah, it's consortium. This will be one entity. Sorry? Is it possible to mention the name of the developer? Oh, of course, one is Sumarekon, on many projects in Jakarta. One is Providence, I think owned by family of Surya Jai. The third one is local developers. Uh, but we own also some lands, yeah, but it's not as big as the three different uh, So next two weeks, we are preparing the consortium to start and apply. So I think more or less in three months, so many bidding for projects happening. So we would not friends company to end this. And last, also, Bandung uh, now uh, requested for by many Indonesian cities to be more or less uh, the hub for many things. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I have to go to city of Magelang in.
Central Java uh, because uh, I'm nominated to be the head of at least uh, more than 50 cities in the west of Indonesia because uh, we have mayor's association in Indonesia. So I'm nominated to, uh, to be the chair for the west part of Indonesia mayor's association. So it means also you can use me if you want to engage with other cities I, within my networks, uh, if you need some help. Uh, Bandung is uh, more than happy to assist. Uh, the further uh, region that also uh, asked Bandung to be the, uh, the hub is uh, many uh, municipalities and cities in Papua. Uh, the city of Wamena also uh, asked Bandung to, to be the the bridge to, to outside business uh, and I was appointed as a, I don't know in English yeah but like cultural child of Bamir. So it means uh, I'm given the title that I'm part of the, the Papua people. So it means also if you have something you want to open the businesses in, in that part of Indonesia, uh, Bandung and the rest of the team uh, can be also your assistant to guys come to that one. We are creating a cultural center in Wamena, Bandung Wamena Cultural Center as part of... Uh, so it means the role of Bandung. Uh, please do not see only just for Bandung. Bandung in 1955 is the capital of Asia Africa and more or less I have a vision to bring back this value uh, to the world. That's why I went to PwC in Paris in the mindset that Bandung wants to play a bigger role in, in, in the global business and uh, networks. Uh, there's one interesting article by Harvard professors that's saying that in the future, local leader will be more significant uh, compared to federal leaders from that article, yeah. just to motivate me as a mayor that the role of mayors now uh, is really more significant than ever because we are really down to business, we are really pragmatic leaders uh, solving issues and get dirty to, to solve problems also. So, to end my speech more or less, uh, again I'm very happy to have this meeting also many opportunities in terms of business and culture. Uh, I'm very open-minded. You have my full support for your business interests. Uh, and also, uh, I'm a very proactive. End of June, I will visit France to meet mayors, uh, especially niche mayors. And please, uh, if you have some uh, places or company uh, for me to visit, uh, do not hesitate to, to inform us. And, whether I can fit to my one big business trip and of yeah. I think that will be my response to all your uh, introductions.
uh, involved in this project. Uh, there is a non uh, municipality, there is uh, Java Barat province, there is Therapy and the implemented, implemented implementation sorry, agency is DGRL of the uh, of Transport. Uh, so uh, we believe that uh, coordination is key for going forward. And uh, uh, I would like to ask you uh, how can you help us uh, to go forward and to, to, uh, to make the project uh, implementation go quicker? I know you're already uh, meeting with the general, uh, so for coordination, how can you help us? Uh, since the, uh, this is a very uh, symbolic and significant project, I'm uh, performing my role very proactively. Uh, the reason I ask for uh, MOUs with the French uh, Embassy is for us to have a, uh, a policy umbrella
situations to cause companies called the Ibi France will follow closely uh, this issue. Sebastian Vicent is the development of the French agency. And uh, I'm sure we can find some representatives of uh, French companies joining the group. And uh, the first thing uh, should note about the railway project. Maybe from our side, Dana 1,5 triliun dari pemerintah Prancis 
kepada pemerintah Indonesia untuk mengelektrifikasi jalur pada larang sampai Gede Bage yang melewati kota Bandung. Dengan elektrifikasi, frekuensi kereta bisa lebih banyak. Yang kedua, eh, semua jalur kereta akan dinaikkan sehingga tidak ada kemacetan karena palang pintu. Itu proyek tiga tahun, tahun ini sudah turun dananya, lagi, lagi penggambaran DED, mudah-mudahan tahun depan bisa mulai. Tahun depan ya bisa mulai? Jadi ada perbaikan rel kereta, kombinasi dengan monorel, kombinasi kabel kereta. Ini kalau yang tadi, kalau semuanya meeting ini, mungkin lebih ke ini aja ya, apa sih? Memperkenalan, perkenalan aja, aja kalau... perkenalan, dan banyak peluang termasuk tadi ada perusahaan, Perusahaan Prancis butuh satu hektar ya. untuk bikin proyek high tech di Bandung dan nanti kita bawa ke situ. Begitu, Jadi iya. artinya secara market ya. orang mau bisnis canggih di Bandung ini udah udah ngantri. Ya. Udah ngantri ya. Jadi uh, kalau misalnya berkenan dengan ya apa sesuai dengan master plan kan ya hmm. uh, mungkin ada kemungkinan bekerja sama. Gitu. Ya tadi yang paling ngeri mah yang satu hektar itu lagi saya follow up nanti. Jadi perusahaan uh, apa tuh? Uh, nanti saya tanya karena Langkah berikutnya, Bandung dan Perancis bikin MOU, tadi kan dengan MOU, dari situ bikin tim, nanti dari tim itulah kita bisa follow up satu-satu.